Get ready for the next battle. Hadouken! What the hell? Flawless victory. So I've seen a lot of people who are new to fighting games or just getting into the fighting game community or even just trying out their first fighting game asking if they should get a fight stick and you really don't need one especially if you're a console player or, or even a pc player and you're used to keyboard and mouse or a controller if you're used to that use it <laughs> getting a fight stick when you've never used one before or practiced with it you're really just taking a step back now i'm not saying you should never get one or try it out like if you want to absolutely try it out just know you're learning from scratch. You're not going to be amazing at that game. I mean, take me for example. I played Mortal Kombat on Xbox 360, and I used an Xbox 360 controller, respectively. I didn't use a fight stick till I started going to my local arcade and playing Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Third Strike, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, and then Mortal Kombat 1 through 3. When I started adjusting myself to using the layout that the cabinets had at the arcade which was obviously a joystick and then either a six or eight button layout. For those looking like for a good starter fight stick, I highly recommend the Mayflash series. I think they just released an F700 one, which accommodates like PS5, Xbox Series X and S, uh, PC of course, it's a universal arcade stick. And even though it's not like the best one at 150 bucks, you can't beat it. It's a great price, has Sanwa buttons, and it also has interchangeable gates, so like you have your octagonal one for, say, Tekken or Soul Calibur, and then you have your square one for your Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, your 2D fighters. Uh, I will not currently use because the card broke off that made it compatible with my PS5, but I use the F500 Elite in the Mayflash series. That's the one I've used for the longest time. I'm currently looking at a Hori PlayStation 1 for a replacement, but my mayflash one is still good i can use it for ps4 i can use it for any older consoles but it's no longer compatible with like the newer ones but the nice part is is that the hori playstation fight stick is also compatible with pc so if i want to upgrade eventually to a pc i can do that as well same thing with the mayflash series it's compatible with pc uh pretty much every console even switch so you can't go wrong with either one and if you're on a budget, they definitely have cheaper options. So you have ones that are as low as 60 bucks, which is the price of a controller. But they're more compact and small, but I find a lot of people actually like that about them, that they're more small. Because the other ones are big, but like big enough to rest your hands on. These smaller ones, you have to kind of hover your fingers. You can't really rest it on the sides, which kind of sucks. But again, for the price, not a bad sacrifice. There's also these fight sticks that are all buttons, so they get rid of the joystick completely and it's all buttons. You have directional buttons and then of course you got your attack buttons and special moves. Some people prefer these. I myself find them weird. <laughs> I have yet to get into one, but they come in a variety of prices. I would definitely recommend spending between $100 to $200 on them because there's some that go as low as $50, but they're kind of flimsy and cheap and break easy. Definitely wouldn't recommend that. But you also don't have to spend $350 for a decent one. Decent ones range between 100 and 200, like I said. I would definitely actually recommend those for pad players. And for those who don't know what a pad player is, it's someone who's used a controller, obviously, but instead of using the analog sticks, they're using that D-pad on the controller. And there's actually a controller that's set up like a fight stick, but it's a legit controller. It's not like it doesn't have like a joy, big joystick to turn or um, big buttons to hit. It's literally set up as a controller. I'll probably throw up an image on the screen so you can see it. And you can play it like a fight stick. And a lot of people prefer that too. So you definitely have options when it comes to fight sticks. There's no like shortage or anything. I just hope I was able to steer people kind of in the right direction so they don't get ripped off or are looking for something specific. And it's like, wait, this isn't what I wanted. This sucks. <laughs> Fighting games suck. I quit. No, we don't want that. We want to encourage people to get into the FGC. So 
those are just my recommendations. You might find that you don't like like the Mayflash series I recommended or the Hori. There's definitely some good ones out there like Quan, I can't pronounce this company's name, but Quanba, I think it's Quanba, Q-U-A-N-B-A. Again, I'll probably throw an image on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Very great uh, PC fight stick. And once again, these fight sticks do not give you an advantage. They do not give you any kind of upper hand in a fight in any game for that matter it's really just to relive that arcade experience and if that's what you're looking for there's your options anyways let me know what you guys think maybe you use a certain brand of fight stick that i missed that's really great please recommend it down below because obviously right now like i said earlier in the video i'm looking for a new fight stick definitely leaning towards hori playstation so i'll probably go with that one 